Hello everyone. Tonight we're going to take a look at some of what we call accessibility features on your Chromebook. These are tools that you can use to help read words to you on the screen that you may find difficult to pronounce or you're not quite sure what the word is. It's also an opportunity for you to use another tool where you can actually dictate or tell the Chromebook what you would like it to type out for you and it will fill in uh, text boxes on the screen for you. All right, so what you've noticed is I've already logged into the Chromebook here. We're looking at the district homepage because there's lots of text on here and it'll give us a chance to experience all the tools that we can use. So in order to activate these tools, we're gonna come down here in the bottom right corner where you have the clock and your charging and your wireless connections and we're gonna go ahead and click one time. When this menu pops up, which we've looked at um, in previous videos, we're actually going to click here on the accessibility features. You'll notice right now I have dictation on, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. You'll notice that the green circle and the check mark goes away. When we begin here, these are all of the options that you have. We're just going to look at the top three uh, this evening, but you are more than welcome to turn on and off any of these that you find useful. Uh, such as the on-screen keyboarding. If you wanted to help your uh, child learn how to type, that puts the keyboard right on the screen and they can look at the screen instead of the keyboard while they're typing. All right. So the top one, or the first one we're going to look at, is what they call Chromebox or spoken feedback, meaning that this will actually read to you anything that you hover over top of. Very easy to access this or any of the other features in here. We we'll go ahead and we'll click one time on here you'll notice that the green circle appeared. We're gonna shrink the menu, and as I begin to shrink the menu, or even come down here, as I move my mouse, there is an orange box that follows the mouse. So as I come up here to the address bar, the orange box appears around the address bar. As I come down here, the orange box appears as well. Once I start moving my mouse around the screen, as that box highlights the text, the Chromebook actually begins to read to you what that text is. Okay, so using the Chromebox feature is that easy. We activate it and we begin to move our mouse around the screen. We're going to come back down here to the menu, back to accessibility. I'm going to shut off the Chromebox feature and instead I'm going to do select and speak. Select and speak once activated puts an icon down here on your toolbar. First thing that we have to do is click select and speak. Then we can come anywhere on the page and we can draw, in this case you'll notice the box is purple, so we draw the purple box around the word district. Once we let go of our mouse and we've completed the box, it will actually go ahead and read that information to us. Then I can come back down here again. I can draw the box and allow the Chromebook to read that to me. The last feature that we're going to look at is the dictation feature. Again, we come back down here to the circle. We go to accessibility. We click on dictation. Once we've activated dictation, there's a speaker icon down here, or microphone icon down here in the bottom. We click on the microphone icon. As we begin to talk, you'll notice that up here, any text that, or any speech that I'm using will go ahead and become text. When I stop for a second, you'll notice down here that my microphone is no longer white, indicating that the dictation feature has turned off. Please notice up here at the top, all except for this word here right before speech is exactly what I was just saying to you as I was using the dictation mode. So please be aware this may not be 100% accurate and you may have to go back and change them from time to time. One last dictation tool that I would like to share with you this evening can be found in Google Docs or Google Sheets. So I'm gonna open a blank document here for you really quickly. And this is really easy to go ahead and use. Once you're inside a doc or a slide, you're gonna to go to tools and you have voice typing 
inside of the tool menu. We click on voice typing. This icon will appear on the left hand side of the screen. We click on the icon. This message will pop up and indicate that whatever program you're using from the Google Suite is ac accessing your microphone. We need to allow that to occur. While the microphone is red, you'll notice that as I continue to speak to you, the microphone is picking up my voice and turning it into text on my Google Doc. When I'm done speaking, I need to come to the left hand side, click on the microphone, and now you'll notice the Google Doc has stopped putting my text into the Google Doc. The other thing that I want you to notice here, things such as punctuation do not appear as I'm speaking. So please keep in mind that if you were going to use this to assist you in completing an assignment, you will need to go back, check your spelling and grammar before turning this in as a completed assignment. I hope this helps you find the Chromebook more user friendly. And again, if you have any questions, please remember that uh, Mr. Little or myself can be reached at 315-341-2051. Another tool that we're going to look at this evening, which you may start using in some of your Google Classrooms and virtual learning, is Jamboard. In order to access Jamboard, you'll log into Google Classroom. Your teacher will either assign this to you as an assignment or they will provide a link if you're doing something like a group, group activity. Using Jamboard is pretty easy. You'll notice here we have three tasks on our screen, and we also have some tools over here on the left-hand side. Here it says, add a sticky note with your name on it. Sticky notes are located here in the menu. In order to use them, simply click on it, this window will pop up. You can certainly pick any color that you wish. Uh, this one says add a sticky note with your name on it. So you would come in here and you would type out your actual name and click save. You'll notice that it appears here in the background and I can hit cancel. Once I hit cancel, I can click on my sticky note and I can drag it down underneath the task. The second one is to draw a picture with the pen. Over here in the toolbar on the top is my pen. If I click on that, I'm accessing the pen. If I click twice, I have access to a marker, a highlighter, and a paintbrush, and six colors. So once I decide what tool I want to use, simply click on that and a color. Then I can come over here, and I can begin to draw a picture for this task. The last one we're being asked to do is to write your name using the text box. Over here again on the left-hand side, you'll see this icon at the bottom, which is a text box. Click on the text box, click once on the Jamboard screen, and type in the text that you need to type in. Once you have this box selected, you have these blue boxes. If you need more room for your text, you can drag these boxes out, or you can increase or decrease the size of your text. Also in the toolbar over here is your eraser. So if you click the eraser and you use that, we can go ahead and remove any drawing or pen marks that we had on the Jamboard. We have the arrow so that we can click on and select the items that we put in and begin to move them. The other option we can do is add an image. So if one of the tasks is to add an image, you click on add an image, and follow those instructions. The last thing we have are the ability to insert different shapes. So if we click on this one twice, we have a variety of shapes. We select the shape that we want, and then we draw the shape on the Jamboard.